intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello. Welcome to a fun video today where I will be going through these coin rolls that I got from the coin shop. Um, so these are the overstock from my local coin dealer that uh, they don't need. So they wrap them up and uh, I'm able to pick them up sometimes. Sometimes other people beat me to them. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm saving the pennies for last because I'm hoping for some good finds in there. Uh, we're going to do this just like all the other uh, coin shop rolls that I go through. I'm going to crack through these and just pump them out on uh, camera. We'll take a quick look through them, see if there's anything. Then I'll hunt for any errors, varieties, and what have you off camera. Now, with the half dollars, um, I'm expecting there to be zero silver in it because, you know, it takes the silver out and sells that as a silver. So these are should all be clad. Um, if there is a silver in here, that's just a bonus for us. But there's, uh, it's, it'd be almost impossible to find silver in these. So don't expect any silver. So I'm going to just tump these out, take a quick look at the baits. Um, just do a quick flip through of them and see what we're dealing with here. And as you can see from the edges, these are all clad. I have one that has a little white on the outside, kind of like a fake clad. And let's see some of these and zoom in a little bit. You can see these are all, looks like they are pretty circulated, regular circulation coins there. Um, so nothing really substantial about this roll. Um, all look uh, circulated, so I will be checking these for errors and varieties and what have you. Um, set aside any NIFCs if there is any. So we'll push that roll out of the way and get it over. And just see what we got going on here. So. Are we possible we might find a, a circulator proof in here? Uh, but otherwise, it would just be probably an IFCs. So the nicest edge on this one is 83. It does have the nicest edge. It is a little bit circulated. If it was uncirculated, I could probably sell that for a couple bucks. Because in 82 and 83, there was no mint sets. So people try to get the best looking ones put together mint sets and it's harder to get them in um, more uncirculated condition. Let's see. Oh, I'm flipping them over off camera here. Let's see. And these all look like normal dates. So yep, nothing going on with these. 70s, 80s it looks like. All of them are. So we'll set that roll out of the way. Get another roll going here. This roll feels a little light. And as you see, more circulated coins here. Let's take a quick peek here. And the dates and everything, everything circulated. Um, there could be some varieties on these because, you know, they, most coin shops don't have time and don't deal with uh, many varieties unless it's um, a graded cherry picker's guide or a very well-known and easy to see cherry picker's guide variety. You know, something that is big and bold. Mm, that might be the best looking coin I've seen so far. That is a bicentennial. Okay, so this might be a, oh yeah, this is, this roll is nicer. This is a, has some, it looks like some more uncirculated stuff in it. 71, nicer quality there. 72, decent, decent 71. 79, that one looks circulated. 78 looks circulated. 77, slightly circulated. Bicentennial. Um, and there are a lot of different things to find on these. Some circulated dates in there. 
a four. Let's take a look at these. Let's say 1973 with some slight yellow, gold yellow tone on it. Uh, let's take a look at these at the end. It's a pretty decent bicentennial there. Some nice little slight tone on it. Same with the 74 and another 74, Denver and Philly. So at least part of this came from, definitely came from a collection, maybe an album, especially this roll. Um, 82, 81, and 80. So yeah, that one looks like more of an album roll there. That got broken up. And we might have some more of the album roll here. And this one. We got some more nice looking stuff. Oh, we got a sticker coin. We got a sticker coin. Let's take a look and see. Oh, never forget. So 911 sticker on the obverse. This is a 2001. Yep, so they did use a 2001 on this. So we do have a sticker coin. That's cool. Um, some uh, 71 here looks in pretty nice shape. And then, oh no, that 71. 71s and 72s. Some of these are nice, some of these are circulated. That is a circulated um, bicentennial. Oh, so, yep, there was some uncirculated stuff, some nicer looking stuff on the enders there. A sticker coin was one of the enders, but the rusted side looked pretty circulated. Oof, that 71 looks kind of rough there. And. Yep, that is it for those halves. So I've got these all stacked up, so I'm just gonna push these to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack through the dollar coins here. Then I'll sort through the dollar coins and the half dollars. Um, and so far we got the one sticker coin. So I'm gonna sort through these um, real quick. We'll look at half the dollar coins and then uh, I'll go through these off camera and I'll let you know if we find anything interesting in any of these. Dollars and halves, and then we'll do the pennies. The three rolls of pennies all together, all at once. We got a nice mix here. Let me just go ahead and dump out both of these. <laughs> There's some more Susan B. Anthony's. I might be able to fill in a couple spots in the album I have. So we got some nice looking dollar coins in here and then a circulated one here on the end, 2000. So let's take a zoom in just a little bit. So this 2000s, I'll be checking for the um, Wounded Eagle and the extra tail feathers, the Cheerios dollar. Then uh, I got some Native American ones here. Decent shape. Some presidential dollars here that are in nice condition. That's a nicer that's a really nice and shiny 2000 out of Denver. That's a really shiny president. Oh, that's JFK. That is one of the ones that wasn't released in circulation. There's another JFK. Harry Truman. And a William McKinley. Hmm. And we have Harry S. Truman. John Adams. James Garfield, T Teddy Roosevelt. A lot of these are, the Garfield is was released in the circulation, but a lot of these were not released in circulation. All of the, um, the Native American ones with the Native American reverse, where they started changing it every year, those were not released in the circulation. That's pretty nice, Howard Taft there. Um, James Madison, that's a really shiny James Madison. I have a full, on a near full set of these dollar coins. There's a really nice George Washington. Does have the edge lettering, and I'm gonna check for edge lettering and stuff. Um, Martin Van Buren. I do have a really nice set, um, almost full set, and hopefully I can fill up the rest of the set here with these. And if anybody wants a full set, let me know, I'll make you a deal on it. A 1980S. Susan B. there. Um, and I will check these nice ones against what I have there for the nicest set. 
and uh, most of them are in pretty nice shape in that set so i mean you can get a, a near full set of presidentials for a good price you got some more of those or some circulated presidents there 1979 um that is in san francisco 1999 philly uh, so if you are interested in one of the in a, in a full set, and I think I have a near full set of um, the second we is the 2000 through th 2007, and then uh, a lot of these uh, Native American reverses in decent shape, a near full set as well. So I have some full sets and that I'm going to be trying to sell at some point. Um, ooh, that's a nice shiny 2000 out of Philly. That's a really nice one. I think the set I have for these is, I have a better one than that. Um, but yeah, sorry I'm rambling. If you are interested in any of these dollar coins, you just want to get a nice set, a nice starter set where you only have to fill in maybe a couple of dates or um, upgrade a few for a good price, let me know. 1979 there with a, that uh, is a normal gap. I'm looking for the um, wide rim there for those. I sold a little bit of premium. Um, ooh, that is an ugly, ugly president coin there. Here's another nice 2000. Another 2000. And another really worn James Buchanan. And a 99 out of Philly. And a 1979 of Philly. All right, so that is those. So let me go through the dollar coins and the halves and we'll check for various varieties and stuff. I didn't see anything standing out, but I didn't stop to look at all the edge lettering on the dollar coins, so I will check for that. Didn't see anything standing out on the um, Susan B's as well. So, all right, so let me get through these and I will be right back and let you know what, what we find on these and then we'll crack open the pennies. Okay, well, I looked through all those. No Irish varieties, nothing going on with them. Um, so we are up one sticker coin, and I have some nice ones over here. I'm going to check against the ones I have and decide if I'm going to keep some of those or not. Um, let's see what I'm going to do about those collections I'm putting together. Um, so let's crack into these pennies. It's an interesting looking scent on the end there. Some interesting color on it. Hopefully, we find some pretty cool stuff in here. Let's zoom out just a hair so we can see these a little bit better. Um, let's see what kind of mixed rolls we got here and if we have any cool finds in them. Um, all right, so flipping through here. Looks like some brown scents, a couple of uh, nice semi decent, some. Is in 70s, we will definitely be checking that for a small date or any other thing got going on with it. There's another 2009. It's got some spots on them. It's pretty nice. 1964 there. We're gonna check that for the double die reverse. As you can see pretty clearly up in the states, the United States of America are pretty well doubled there. I'm not seeing it on the camera, but. Uh, it is a little bit harder to see without looking under the scope, so I'll be scoping that one out for sure. Some more brown scents there. It's 59, 1963 red. Let's see. Just flipping through here, there's another 70S. We'll be checking that for thing. It's pretty nice. 93D. There's a, another nice 64. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on here? It is a interesting colored 1961 there. Someone probably spent a little time in an album. Um, it's not uh, the best thing ever, but um, some interesting color. And then the 
Ender that had just the interesting color on it. This one looks like it's just got some, had some kind of chemical or something in on it and they use some uh, colored spots on it. So more of an artificial colored coin there. So let's move some of this out of the way and drop out the next roll. Let's see here. Let us see here. What do we have in here? Make some more brown scents. Some some decent red stuff there. Uh, nothing amazing uh, scent wise so far. It has some deep purple on it. Another 1970s. We will be checking that. Uh, let's see. Well, these have some uh, surface discolorations and stuff. 83, I'll be checking for the double die reverses and things like that. Um, some more 70s. 84 Denver. It's an 1884, I'll be checking for a double ear. And a 1980, that one has, 1980 has a double die obverse to look for as well. So some, some decent looking coins nothing nothing award-winning there uh, no wheat sense or anything which is uh, not unexpected but always fun to find in there some things that I'd definitely look for let's check this next roll out and see what is in this one Ooh, that's a really nice 1959 out of Denver there. Really nice. I'm going to set that up to the top there because that is in pretty nice shape. Um, going through these uh, rules I got from the coin shop. 2009 out of Denver. Another 2009. Hmm. This is slightly off color. That's possible a copper planchet there, but I'm not 100% sure. I will have to weigh that one up and see. The copper planchets, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, if you watched them, were in the mint sets. We got the bunch of 70s, there's another 59, 60s, and 63. Okay, so I have a mess of pennies here to go through. Oh, there's another. 2009 out of Denver. This one does look like the uh, mint set one, though, here. I mean, look at the uh, slightly different coloring there. Um, let me grab it a little bit better. I'm trying to be gentle with these because I don't want to get fingerprints on the obverse. You can see this one has a bit more orange and this one has a bit more yellow, more of a matte, and this one is a bit more shiny. So this one was I guess flopped down here at the bottom this one is one of the mint sets and that one is a copper planchet and that's a pretty nice 1972 out of Denver that may be better than the one I have in my album let me zoom in and take a quick look at that it's pretty nice it does have some there's just some surface spotting and stuff that is showing up on the camera that I can't see in person very well I guess the camera's just picking up the light reflecting a bit more there. So we're going to put that one up here to check against the album. Um, yeah, so let's just, just check down in this area because that's where I found those two. I must have missed them when I started going through the rolls. Okay, so that's what we got here. Let me sort through these, see what we got. Um, I'm going to weigh this one up and, and see if it is a... It's kind of got the in-between look. So it's probably a zinc planchet and not a copper planchet. But let me get through these, check them out. I'll set the nicer ones aside to check against my album, which there doesn't seem to be a whole lot that may upgrade the album because I'm getting the, from all these rolls I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of really nice sets. So um, it's harder and harder to find upgrades in these dates and stuff in the um, Memorial and 
shield sent era memorial up to today so 59 up to now all right so let me um rambling let me just uh get through these i'll be right back let you know what we find if we find anything awesome i'll come back in uh before i get everything sorted but otherwise i'll probably just save it all to the end and just go over it all at the end here all right we'll be right back okay well, let's check the um weight on these coins here Let's see, 2009s. These two are going to be zinc, so they're going to be 2.51 or 2.50, right around there. 2.53. Yep. This one is going to be copper, so this one's going to be 3.11 approximately. Approximately, close enough. This one is the one that I can't determine for sure looking at, at it. So we're going to find out. Um, I'm going for zinc on this one. It just has a more zinc look. But I could be wrong. Let's find out. Let's find out. Am I wrong? Oh, I was wrong. That is a copper one. Nice. So we did get two copper 2009s and two zincs. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, and I've showed this off previously. This is um, the Philadelphia side of the mint side. I have the Denver off to the side. And you can see how the... Um, coins in here have that nice matte look to it there all the coins in here have a have a nice little matte look finish instead of shiny they have a matte look but uh, if we look at the scent down there it is composition 95% copper 3% zinc and 2% tan so all the ones in these copper all the copper scents from 2009 did come through um, the mint sets. It's the only place to get the copper. There's a little write up on it. So, you, yep, you can pause and, and look at that if you'd like. Um, but yeah, so if I get over to share that again, I've shared this in a previous video, but the mint sets from 2009, um, I don't know about the proof. I have to double check on the proof about it. The mint sets for sure is where you get these business strike copper and the zinc ones were for circulation. Right, so let's break down the fines for the sun for the pennies the only thing i found was a 1960 small date and the philadelphia small dates are the harder ones to find unfortunately this one has uh, a lot of surface gunk on it but you know it's still the harder to find of the two small dates from that date otherwise we got the two copper uh planchet 2009s and we got a sticker coin a 2001 sticker coin for uh, remembering September 11th. So that is the finds for the hunt. I do have some nicer ones up here. I'm gonna check against the album here. Um, and I'll let you know at the end if I add those or not. And some nicer ones I'm gonna go through and sort and see if I'm gonna, what I'm gonna keep and not keep here. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this hunt. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Have a great day.